Javier Martinez versus Delgado. Now, this actually turned out to be a a decent fight. Um, Martinez, he's a he's a big southpaw, and you can tell that he's been working a little bit on mixing up the attack and then also coming in with some some very accurate combinations. Uh, some of the shots that were were decent were the body shots. I think if Delgado wouldn't have had so much, you know, a little bit of, I say, flubber downstairs, <laughs> some of those body shots would have would have landed a little bit cleaner. Um, but I do agree with Timothy Bradley with his his analysis on the way that Javier Martinez was throwing the shot. Sometimes it, he was slapping it a little bit. But uh, all in all, I, I thought that he did a really good job. Now, the the, the only thing about it was at the end. So, so not going to hold y'all. Unanimous decision victory um, for Javier Martinez. So he was able to get that. But at the end, the last round, you could tell that Delgado was actually trying to go for broke. And he was trying to win the fight. And he landed some clean shots. And so this is something to for Javier to go back on as far as on tape to say, hey, how was my conditioning? Um, how was my discipline when it came to my my defense? Especially when I got a fighter that's coming at me, you know, because uh, that some of those shots were landing and he got caught with some clean stuff at the end of the of the fight. Uh, right before the bell. And so it's just something to that Javier's team needs to start to to lock in on to say, hey, you need to be ready for all rounds and you need to you need to be disciplined the whole way through. Don't don't you can't go to sleep on at the wheel when it comes to boxing. So that was just something I think that he's going to take away from this fight. But all in all, it was a great performance. Uh, definitely somebody that People need to be prepared for um, southpaws in general are very tricky, but the fact that he he was able to be so mobile in there and also mixing up the attack quite a bit, yeah, he's 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 pretty good. But Delgado, hey man, you did a great job in there. Honestly, to me, Delgado was was making some some good headway in there, and there were some moments that Delgado had in that fight. So um, nothing to nothing to be ashamed of, to be honest. Um, in the Delgado camp, I think that y'all had a good game plan and yeah, there was some interesting parts. So there was a, a barbershop moment where, uh, Delgado, he actually, they had to, um, <laughs> cut off two of his dreads and they almost had to cut off a third one because the thing kept on moving around a little bit. So that's a lesson for all you young fighters that get into the ring, make sure that you have the right hair, you know, placement or <laughs> make sure that you you get the low fade, man. Just get the fade, bro. Like, just get a fade and keep it short and tight and clean. You know what I mean? Like, you're going, it's not a fashion show, bro. You're like, you're, you're in there and somebody's trying to take your head off. So get your head right. Go to the barber. Cut it all off, man. You can grow it back. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's all I got. Uh, good fight. It was, it was pretty interesting. And it wasn't like now. Now don't now when you cut it down, don't don't do the Floyd Diaz cash flow Floyd Diaz with the with the purple, pink, and yellow and orange. I already put that in another video, so y'all y'all check out that one. That was pretty interesting, pretty crazy. But hey. It is what is top rank. Everybody's trying to make a name for themselves. And, you know, everybody's got to promote themselves in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So, with that being said, as always, yo, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified of all the good content that we got this year and beyond. And with that being said, as always, peace. One love. We out of here. I'll see you at the top.